I'm Angie. I'm Michelle. We're Blue, Blue Heavens. Heavens. And this video is going to be part four of Exodus. <gasps> How many <laughs> of these are there going to be, you guys? Let's exactly. guess in the comments. I'm thinking like 11. I think we're going to end up with like 11 Exodus little clip videos. But we'll there was see. a lot a on lot. Exodus and we want to give it justice. Yeah. So there's just a lot here. So. Yeah. So let's get into it. Let's get into Exodus. Oh, <laughs> okay, so where we left off, Moses is shepherding God's people into the wilderness, and they are complaining about everything. We have no food. We have no water. Why didn't God just leave us to die as slaves in Egypt? How dare he try to save us? And Moses is like asking God, give us water. And God's like, hey, hit the staff on a rock. You got water. These people need food. Quails come in. So now everybody's going to eat quail. And he's teaching them. He's trying to, God's trying to teach Israel um, through manna, through this bread, how to like save things and prepare for things. He's trying to like see, are they on board with me? Are they going to be my team members here? And the people are saying, yeah, we are, God. Like, we got this stuff. But they're not doing it. They're just not doing it. So... And I like that manna was called, what is it? Manna, it is a yeah. honey wafer. Yeah, but it, the word manna means what is it? I just really like that. The yes. people are like, hey, let's eat this, what is it? Let's eat the what is it, but it was a honey <laughs> wafer. But yeah. day yeah. after day, and I'm sure all the, the wives of the day would have had recipes for manna. Yeah. So. And so if this manna stay too long, it's going to produce a smell and have worms. So there's like a consequence to not listening to God about how to treat this manna. You're supposed to collect a certain amount for what, six days. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, yep. Gathering for six. And on the seventh day, you weren't supposed to go collect any. You were just supposed to use what you have. So you're supposed to save for your family for six days of manna for a seven day week. But people just weren't listening. They just weren't doing it. And I would like to say this whole time that I read all this stuff, people should ask God. If they were thirsty and hungry, why didn't they ask God for food? Why are they complaining to Moses? They're just allowing Moses to be the medium, the interceder for them and God. And Moses is going to Mount Sinai to go get the Ten Commandments. Come with me. No, no one wants to come with them. They're afraid. No one wanted to talk to God. And I think that is where we are still. And that is, this is Lucas, and that is so true. We still give it to somebody else yeah. to do. We give it to the person that we know will do it. And we depend on them to do everything. Yeah. This is what they did to Moses. A part of them didn't believe. Yeah. Even though he showed them all of these things, they don't want to change. They're not willing to change. They like this, I want to be however I want to be. They like being victims. They like being the victims. I exactly. think they did. They like being the victim. And yes. I was there where I felt like I was a victim and I had power there. You don't. And no. pity isn't love. And victimhood isn't victory. Like, there no. is a difference. Like, don't settle for that place. That placement isn't something we should settle for. We shouldn't have settled for being slaves in Egypt. No. 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 That's not no. what's necessary. We, no. we could follow God. We could follow him and do what he's asking of us. It's not like he's asking that much. He is not at all. You, in the wandering around in the desert, they complained. And these were, this was their choice. They went to Moses. They wouldn't even go to God. And I find that still, like Angela said, still happening today. We do not give it to God, teacher of love, whoever we would like to say the name. We either take it upon ourselves, because we're right, of course. Or we watch somebody else do all the work, and we take the credit for it. And say, well, we're doing everything they're doing, so I don't have to do anything. But I'm just going to sit here and just let them do it. Yeah, That's not what you're here to do. And that wasn't Moses' job. Moses right. was... Help in giving God information. God was testing these people. Are you ready to be my people? Yeah. But to be my people, I require a certain respect, a certain way these people need to be. Obedience. Obedience. Just general obedience. niceness and obedience. Common sense. <laughs> you know, be nice, be kind, follow rules. Yeah. Follow and then a lot of the man, if you notice, he did the six days on the seventh day. He was, he was going to do the twice as much. You didn't collect on the seventh day. Right. So six, you collected twice. As much, but still it says in the Bible, they still collected on the seventh day. So he once again had to tell them, you don't have to do, you yeah. know, these people, they were hard of hearing. They didn't want yeah. to hear, but they were playing this victim and going to Moses. 
And Moses' uh, father-in-law, Jethro, hears about Moses doing all this stuff. So he writes to him and then he meets him there and he's like, Moses, you can't do this all on your own. You need to put leaders in place that know what you know, that can be uh, the people that know the God's rules and instructions that he gives you, you know, let's allot that to other people. And then all these people can ask them for their general questions instead of just bombarding Moses. So then that kind of was put into place. And all this stuff is just... It's God trying to see how he can work with us. He's trying things out. He's trying the Ten Commandments. He's seeing how these things work. These things did not work. <laughs> no. But they were they were tried. This is the first Exodus of what what have what he tried to do. But then he tried with Jesus. And what happened with Jesus as well. And he even took the sins and with the terrible, terrible death, he took the sins. And that was to uh, bring, you know, love peace it was to bring you didn't have to do half of the things that these people had to do to clean cleanse himself before the energy yeah and everything he came to be the sacrifice the lamb to sacrifice and that's still big today and people still don't think that's a thing people believe different and i don't understand because if somebody has died for you martyred themselves for you that says a lot about them and people aren't listening. But history repeats itself. What were we talking about in the laws of history karma? repeats itself until changed. And so far, this has not been changed. And people talking about the second coming of Christ. I can tell you for a fact, he would never come. This, this, the second coming is the united conscious energy coming down. That is what the second coming of Christ is. Mm -hmm. If you're expecting him to calm down, that's not going to happen. He knew, he, he knew what happened the first time. Why would he go through the second time? And it'd be much worse people judge facebook interviews it would just be ridiculous what circus. can you do for us what can you show us what signs do you have and it would be the popular people how many the, the top paid people could see him while the people that he wanted to see could not have reached to him that's not the type of world he went to the people that needed him the most yeah. and those people could not even reach him if he came down to in today's society so that wouldn't be a thing so the second coming is really the energy of helping it's really us or again yeah. we're moses yes we're still needing to listen but be moses yeah you know and because he went to god he'd go to god and the people are going to moses there's something wrong with that when we don't go to him first things are not going to go the right way if we go to him in every situation you will get you will get an answer so and I've been thinking about this this week, so I'm going to kind of jump over. Uh, the Bible says not to go to mediums, and I'd like to say that's because he wants us to go to him. He doesn't want us to rely on somebody else. Moses was kind of like a medium in this situation. He didn't want his people to go to Moses. He wants them to go to God. Um, um, what is her name? Doreen Virtue. I love this lady. And she thinks that her career has been wrong when misleading people in new age because the Bible has a little thing about don't consult mediums. So she's felt like all the healing and stuff she's imparted on people and all the wisdom she's imparted is now worthless. And she tries to take her books back and her tarot cards and stuff back because she feels like what she done is wrong. And her heart was right on. It's we've misunderstood. There's a lot of things in the Bible that people just kind of placed in there. There's things that talk about how don't read the stars and stuff. But what are these magis and wise men doing? They're reading the stars and stuff. There's there's hints of people doing things that we're told not to do within the Bible. We have to see that. We have to see that there's like hidden layers in there and, and deceptions and stuff. But God just wants us to go to him. If you see a medium for a question or something, I'm sure he's cool with that. But at the end of the day, he doesn't want you relying on somebody else as a source to talk to him or get answers from him. When you were connected to him, yes. we used to have a tabernacle, right? So God had the tabernacle that everybody had to carry around. And then the Ark of the Covenant, and they had the Holy of Holies where God's presence was. Well, Jesus became our temple and his seat is in the Holy of Holies within our heart. So the tabernacle of God is now within us. We don't have to carry it around anywhere. We don't have to purify anything to have that, but we do have to work on our garbage for it to shine. That's very true. And as well, talking and we'll do another video on this subject, talking about mediums, because this is a beautiful subject. They want, you got to remember the book was, Lots of the book was taken out and 
And the book that I am here to read is not the same book that was here originally. Things were taken out. Things were wrote in about mediums. Prophets were mediums. Moses was a medium. But people are going to him for answers mm -hmm. when they should be going here. And he was trying to teach. Yes. Go to here. The prophets never took credit. They went to him. So any medium, as these two girls, and we don't even call ourselves mediums. We just say the spirits, if they need us, as well as a human, star seed, whoever you are, animals, whoever you yeah. are, come to us. We will help you out. Yeah. So there is, we don't say medium spirits. Otherwise, it does not matter. But we want you to learn the information, which is why we're doing these videos. Mm -hmm. We can encourage questions. We encourage that. And you can give us information as well that yes. maybe we are not putting in the videos that you would like to add for other because we're all we all we're teach each other yes we're we are all each other's we're, teachers yes. jesus called it the way he said yes. there was no one above anybody there's no caste systems there's no leader right. we all have a voice and a place that is beautiful angela i'm glad you brought this up because you got to remember a lot of and you know like talking about different things like i said we will go over this to, take an account God was not a hateful being. He's not a hateful. If there's an angry God, that was read by a human. They did not understand. So we'll get on that subject different. But on the subject of mediums, it is okay to see one. But it is also, we do want you to, uh, we teach others when we see people. And, and if you've had a reading with us, and you could comment below as well, we teach you to do it yourself. Yeah. We teach that. We don't, and we don't, we don't encourage you to come back. There's a particular place that says that mediums, all they out are for money. And look how much profit they make because of the money. These girls don't make money. They don't. <laughs> because really it's don't. not about the money. Right. And we give to charities. We give to charities. So we're trying to show God's heart, not ours. Exactly. We're because, trying to show God's word, not ours. Because it is his word. It is his word in the end. All this information is his word. Everything we're saying is his word. You can feel it in your skin. You can feel it. And where no matter what star see, being you are, animal, vibration will hit you. You just know the truth. You yeah. feel the truth. And that is what these girls are here to do. So when you look in the Bible, every leader had some kind of mediumship ability, whatever you want to call this, mm -hmm. and them to, to communicate. But you will also notice nobody took the credit. Right. Nobody took the credit. And Jesus was like, and he even said, do not even preach me. Don't worship me. And he would tell people, I'm going to help you, but don't go and tell others. Right. But He's they like, would. I'm man. You can't, you can't um, worship man. Right. That's idolatry. You have to worship God if you're worshiping something. I don't think God really even wanted us to have something to worship. It's like we wanted it is what it seems like. People are like, I want something to worship. I want something to well, worship. Well, that's like I'm saying like with Moses, for <laughs> right. example. Somebody has to right. follow somebody. So God yeah. is somebody to follow. Yeah. But God to follow. Where do we come from? People ask a lot of this question, and we address this in other videos. Who are we? Where do we come from? Well, instead of asking all these questions, pay attention to other things. So somebody, does your neighbor need help? Help your neighbor. Does your child need to be listened to? Listen to your child. You know, it's good to explore these things. But it's also good to help other people. Jesus helped people. And the short time he was here, he did learn knowledge. But he took that knowledge and did something with the knowledge. And I think the reason, too, the religion is the way it is today. Not all religions, but how some are today. It's a money-making thing to control you, to preach about hell, how many spirits, and I just really aggravating, and I am gonna just go on this quickly. And I have said this a million times, and I'm gonna say it and keep saying it a million times. There is no hell, quit saying there's a hell, quit preaching there's a hell, because that was a scare tactic. Do you see a little red man running around with horns? And that Sylvia Brown had said that, and I, so far being here, I have never seen that. The closest thing would be my father, but that's not him, that's not my dad. So if you really, you're, there's no, you're not going to find that. So quit preaching that to people. You're scaring spirits that we can't pass because they feel they're going to this place called hell. And they're so scared of that. When there's a divine love waiting for them to be there. But yet they feel there's going to be hell. And, and that's it. So please, listen, listen. If you don't want to believe it, at some point it will make sense to you. At some yeah. point it will believe it. But just for people, I just want to preach that out there. I, yeah. we, 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 we will continue saying this yeah. over and over and over. And that, because this also deals with all of what is happening too, and that. So I, I did want to, Jesus is love, God is love. Why would he create something like that? Ask yourself, he right. would not. He would not. He would not. We created it. You, 
you created it. My part, my human part created it. And this devil is selfishness. It's it our is. ego. It's the illusion of what we think is real here. It's not God. Yes, it can be addiction to drugs. It can be, it can the be devil anything. is anything yes. that is your crutch. Yeah. Overeating, drugs, anything that is your crutch is the devil. Yeah. And you can take care of that. That's what Loki does. He takes care of the yes. garbage that other people carry. And if you acknowledge it and you want to acknowledge it, it'll make your being a lot lighter yes, to it will no home. longer bound you it will no longer be in charge of you you now become aware of it and it, it releases it for you and it's a choice and and that's why these people their own misery came upon themselves because it all goes back to that and moses told them don't be afraid god has come to test you and instill a deep and reverent awe within you so that you won't sin so god just wanted us to learn he just wanted us to yes. learn and to choose love instead of doing these misbehaviors over and over again for whatever reason we have for doing them. To be angry, to be jealous, to be envious, to be um, selfish, greedy, whatever our thing is. We're not supposed to have that thing. You got to get that thing out of your way so we can move on to the peace that God's trying to give us. So we can move on to the promised land. So we can move on to why we're here. So we can move on for all of us. I don't want my kids to see any more murder and hate. I, I feel so bad that I brought kids into this world right now with as crazy as everything is and everybody choosing political views over friends and family and just all of this stuff. I'm over all this stuff, you guys, and you have to be over all this stuff yeah. too. It's just putting a division in between us. It's nonsense. Discord is one of those apples that we're not supposed to mess around with. Mm -hmm. That's a sinful apple to do. We're right. not supposed to do that. We need to understand, or at least attempt to understand, that if we see someone in a really uncomfortable circumstance, you have no idea what put them there. Why don't you, if you came from a good family, sit back and be like, God, I'm thankful I came from a good family because maybe that kept me from being where they are. Think about what you have had and the blessings you have had. And then maybe think of how can you help someone that is down like that? Start with don't judging them. Don't judge them. Pray for them. Send them some love. Don't judge them. It, it, it pushes them down more. They want to be freed from it and they hurt. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these people are hurting other people and they're so angry and they're just so hurt inside and so over it. We need to pray for them. We need to right. pray for light and peace to come into them because that's what they need to heal. And this is Michelle. And so since we we like to give examples from our own life mm. as well. And so right now, I'm like I said, I'm going through a divorce. And it's right now it's easy to be angry and bitter. Whereas I have been. I have been there. My kids are making judgments instead of saying love. Sometimes I don't even, I should go to God. But I'm so, I want to be the victim. I want to be... He's to blame for everything. I didn't do anything. So I took a hard look Sunday and really meditated and contacted Locaeus because in his state, as we can, because he, he goes to a higher, very higher when we meditate, I asked him, I said, what am I not seeing? Well, why? I did why. Yeah. Why am I hurting? He said, so why are you hurting? That's what he said. So I go, well, I'm angry at him because 29 years. He goes, well, didn't you make a choice to marry him too? Okay. So then I go, well, why is he treating me like this? He goes, why are you treating him like that? See, he will not let you play the victim. Yeah. I was trying to give to the victim. Yeah. I go, why isn't he talking to his kids? And he goes, put yourself in his shoes. And you tell me, would you want to talk? Would you? He said, you don't understand what he's going through. Exactly what she just said. You don't know somebody else's pain. I don't know his pain. I don't know what he's going through. Right. I know I'm hurting. It's so busy to just throw the blame at him. Like so many people can. And I know divorces are not easy anyway. There's other situations as well we will go through. And it's easy for me to just point his finger at him. I did nothing wrong. I'm perfect. No, I bullied him. Locates when you see it in ways, I bullied him too. I want somebody I could control because I was very unhappy. He was very unhappy. So he did the things he did because he was unhappy. I did things I did because I was unhappy. And the, my kids were just unfortunately in the middle of all of that. And they had to witness all of our mistakes in front of them. Yeah. And so this is, all, and he made me look at these things. This was not something 
I enjoyed. No. Because you, but it was something I cried over. I needed to hear it. Yes. But I did the math of it. She had mentioned the why. The why. Why. And when you do with your higher self, you know, and talk, and you talk to, I like talk to Lucas, talk to my higher self as well. And I had other energies, but Lucas refused to let me even sit there and sink. And he would, like that, well, why? Well, why? Well, you know. So in your desert, this is my desert. I'm going through this desert. I feel I'm alone in this desert. I thought I want to be the victim. I, I, I don't like if Moses was in front of me, I might even do the same as these people because I want to be the victim right now. Please pity me. And he goes, look, he asks, why would you want to help people? Would you pity yourself? This is stupid. Get on with your life. Quit crying about it. There's a time to cry. There's a time to get angry. Then there's just time to do this and walk away from it. And he said, Things will be done and wish him well. Forgive him for his part. Yes. Forgive yourself for your part. Forgive for what the kids have had to witness all of this time. But he said, instead of focusing on him, focus on your children. Focus on you. Focus on him. Give him love. Give him forgiveness. Give all that to him because he needs that right now. And the he said, you may not ever get that from him, but it doesn't matter. Because if you're already forgiven and you're going to feel that sense of forgiveness. And I have... And this could go on over and over because it, because it plays back in your head. Yes, it does. It'll come back in, but no, yes. remember that thing he did. Yes. You're like, oh, that's right. That thing he did. Yes, and you gotta did. be like, no, what about the thing I did? Yes. What was the positive? What I, what I've been doing is look, okay, so I do that. I do that. How I left was a terrible, how I, I can't, I lived it. I hate the way I left him. Thing. Mm -hmm. And we both go through that guilt and I, and I relive it and it comes in nightmares. And I hear Lucas, he'll tell me, he goes, but what way would you have chose? What way would you have chose? And he goes, it could have been him leaving you. It could have been this many. And he said, what you did was him a favor. You did yourself a favor. You did their kids a favor. He can now be happy. You can now be happy. I found out news about him and a diamond ring. And his, I don't know what's going on. I took it personally. Lucas, first thing, Lucas says, why? He's happy. Just let him be happy. Why are you trying to be bitter and make it something it's not? I reacted. I judged. And how many times do we do that? I don't care how much you talk to God. We all do this. I still do it. Yes. My daughter it, My daughter called me the other day. She needed a razor. And she's like, Dad gave me a razor. And like it cut me. And I'm thinking, why would he give her a razor? I'm thinking like one of these beard shaving razors, right? right? And he's, she's like, I cut myself. I'm like, oh, I got to go get her a razor, right? So we were in the area. I dropped off a razor. She's like... This is like dad's razor. And I was like, because <laughs> I was like, he doesn't know the difference between a girl razor and a man razor. Because I thought of an electric razor. So I like just added judgment and created something that didn't need to be created at all. Right. And then so it, my ex-husband's there, right? And she, he's like, I'm not as dumb as everybody <laughs> thinks I am. And I felt like an asshole. Because I did that. I went straight that, oh, he doesn't know. Right. And I shouldn't have. And because of that, I, I made my daughter sad. I hurt his feelings. And then I felt shitty about myself. Right. So, you know, I am telling you these things. But know that we're working on ourselves, too. We're not right. just preaching this stuff and not doing it. We hold ourselves accountable we to this do. stuff. And that's why we're bringing it to you. Because we have held ourselves accountable. That we've seen the healing. That we've seen that it helps that we want to share this with you. And yes. a lot of the information we've had, Spirit has given us this information, but we waited until we read it in other books and other sources to have enough proof that we should bring it to you. And in anything we give you, just think about it. I'm not trying to change your belief systems. We're not trying to change your belief systems. We're not trying to take anything away from you. We just want you to think. Just think about this yes. stuff because the world that we live in isn't all it's supposed to be. It's not all that it seems to be. And this is Lucas. But you and that you heard how I in, the, in her example. And but here's the thing though. You can make it's your choice. You're the creator. You can make this a beautiful world. Your problems you create in some way, somehow you're creating. You didn't pick the lesson up the first time. These things he come into Michelle, I told her, and this will ring true, but I, I told Michelle, because she keeps wanting to be the victim, but then she changes it up a bit, and she'll come to me crying, well, what was me? And I told her, you know what's going on? You didn't learn the lesson the first time. You didn't learn the lesson the second time, and it's going to keep you bringing back more of the same 
shit you don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. So quit asking the same stupid question and ask mm -hmm. something better. I say, like, so why? Because we preached that to you folks. Right. It works because it, it knocked her into a sense when she realized she was the bully to some degree, as well as he was. He wasn't the only one. I made her take accountability. She didn't want to take accountability. I made her take accountability. She took accountability. And to the situation just right here, she took accountability. And you and you put yourself in their shoes. I made her put herself in her ex's shoes. How does he feel when she doesn't know how to help her children? Put yourself in their shoes. And I'm like, this is another way of helping somebody. If you don't know how to help, and you really do, put yourself in your shoes. It's very simple to do. And then you're grateful to the things you do have and be grateful every day. Yeah. And Mich right now I told Michelle, she told me her mom and dad were some of the best people. Angela was some of the best people. And she, they took her shopping because Michelle right now, you know, damn thing happening. She, they, her mom and dad always have helped these girls no matter what. And... I told her, I said, now be grateful. Look what they did. They love you no matter anything you've ever done. They love you. Look at the positives. Look at that. So I said, bring that love to somebody else. Bring it to yourself. Bring it to somebody that needs that love. Mm -hmm. And I said, they understood you needed that love. When she needs it, she goes over to here as well, besides her parents and to her children. And as well, is there something you could reach out to? Is there something you can do? Because that meant so much to her. And she cried and she told me, she says, I don't deserve it. I said, Honey, you do deserve it. Accept it. Be grateful and quit acting. Don't react. Be grateful for it. It came to you for a reason. He knew you needed this because he knows you've been giving and giving and giving and something will be given to you because you're not asking for it. If you're asking for it, you're not going to be grateful. But if it is this given and she's been showing a lot of love despite and I told her, well, let's pray that your ex gets his love as well. Mm -hmm. And if he's getting that love, then that's why you're doing what you're doing. Quit playing the victim. Quit playing the victim. Yeah. And that's what we do. And that's what we want to teach. Okay, to and that's what the Israelites wanted to do. They wanted to stay victims. They wanted to that's just, the that's what the they story. kept saying. They why did you just desert. leave us as slaves? As, as, that's what they said. And yeah. that's why wandering in the desert is also metaphoric. Yeah. Because you're, they said that they chose to stay in the desert. He said, your, your, uh, the, your uh, others in the future, well, your kids will see it. You're not. Because they don't appreciate it. They're not grateful for what everything he's given them. And he knew they were just not going to catch it, get it. And how many times are we all wandering in the desert right mm -hmm. now? And it'd be, all of this will be given to our children. Not that that's not a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. It's great. But why can't you have the wonderful things now? Don't wander in your desert. It's not the fun. It's, everybody goes to the desert, mm -hmm. but you will go to the light. Because eventually they, the people perish. They went somewhere. And the kids, they get to see it, the light. So understand there is a promise. If you're going to your own desert right now, you know, there's a, there's a, it's a season yeah. and you will go to some and you'll have and that, but, and, but to give your trust in God as we have both. Absolutely. Give it to God. Ask God. God. Go to God. Don't try not to complain. If you find yourself complaining, think of something you're grateful for. Right. If you're in a situation and you're mad at somebody else, ask God, what am I really doing in this situation? What it's role do I play? It's a mirror. If you're mad, anger really does not exist. We bring anger; it does not exist. So if you're angry, what are you, what is it deep? What, did, what feeling did you pit down? Is that person is bringing to you something you haven't learned yet? Something he is trying to teach you. Take it as a lesson. If some anger comes around. Ask yourself, what is it I need to learn? It's going to keep getting bigger and bigger until you're just and learning louder and louder and louder. Because whatever you think will come to you. Your thoughts, your talk. Your energy will bring you exactly what you're thinking. If you're thinking a lot of sad, negative things, that's exactly what's going to come back at you. Mm -hmm. So if you want a lot of positive and beautiful things and wonderful experience here, then think these wonderful. And it's you can mm -hmm. wake up in the morning, start it off like that. I've been going through stuff lately, and I, a couple days ago, decided to that. I was done. Mm -hmm. I was done feeling sorry for myself. I'm mm -hmm. going to start making changes to do better. Right. Um, I invite you to do the same. Right. Uh, I'm going to start walking again because I kind of gave up on physical exercise for a while because I kind of got sad. Right. So I'm going to start walking again and I'm going to try to encourage my children to walk with me. Uh, this way, maybe it can help their mental health and their spiritual health and help them feel better about themselves. Um, so that's something I'm going to try to do so I'm not sad about things I've done in life. And what I've incorporated with her it's a 21-day journal, grateful journal. Perfect. She is 
and teaching her daughter this and her boys and, this, and we're doing separate things. Trying to teach the boys that their, their dad did not abandon them. So we're doing things. What, what good did your dad do for you? So we're going to start to journal every single day. Three things I'm grateful for what my dad has done and what he will do. Because what is happening when you in the present say, my dad has done this. My dad loves me. It, the energy is going to come back yes. and it's going to help him heal, yes. help them heal. So it's all good. But it's a 21 day because you can do anything in 21 days. And I'm bringing feminine energy to her because she's not bringing love to herself and her daughter. So they separately than the boys are doing something like that because the boys, they love themselves. I love that they love themselves. They do not. So it's different. But since they're the ones having the abandonment issues, that's where I'm, I said, let's talk about your dad. And why even and they're right now they're not two days into it they hate it because they're too busy trying to be the victim and I will not let them be yeah. the victim. And her son, her middle son, just said, "Can I just be the victim today? Can I be angry? I'm tired of being happy. I'm tired of happy people." He told me that. He said, "I'm just sick of you being happy." I hear that a lot. And I said, "You choose to be happy, or you just choose to be a pisshead? What is your choice? I choose to be happy. I want to bring happiness to the world." And I'm like, you don't know what your dad's going through. This is bring happiness yeah. and love. And I said, if you have nothing to say nice, what did he do in your past? And you know what? It takes him a couple seconds. He comes up with something. Yeah. Even the same memory. Yeah. It doesn't matter, but it makes him smile. And then I recount the story. And then they light up. Your mind doesn't know the difference if it happened or it didn't. Yeah. Remember that. It does not. No, so that is a habit that they are doing. And tomorrow as well, walking too. Gonna be doing more exercise. What can you do? Yeah. Give it 21 days yeah. and just see how it goes. And yeah. they say that's how yes. you form a routine. Exactly. It's 21 days or something. What do you need to do? Yeah. And another thing, do the why. There's a problem. Yes. Angela brought that up in yeah. the video. I love that. That's what I have her do. Yes. And I encourage that for you as well. You have a problem with you, yeah. somebody else. Why? 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 Go down and your yeah. core will feel it. Yes. And you go, oh. And then you can pull that weed out. out. You can look at it. And your garden's free that weed. You can move on, on to the next thing you've got. Yes, it helps. It helps. We have to till our gardens, y'all. Yeah, we have to till them. We got to take out the weeds. We got to do that. And because we got beautiful plants in our garden, we just got a lot of weeds we got to pull out. Yeah. And we can do that. You don't have to do it all at once. Do it as you're comfortable. We, live we in can't a do it world. all at once. <laughs> and the, this part of Exodus, that's what, you know, this is Michelle. But that's what we're talking about. We go back and forth a lot. <laughs> But, um, but in Exodus, that's, you know, the lesson is about the desert, you know, yeah. and that's what we're just really trying to bring home. These people didn't love themselves. They couldn't have loved themselves. They didn't want love. They had the chance to be in that, but they chose not to. They'd go to Moses. They blame Moses for everything. They blame each other for everything. And that's what we still do. And this, so Exodus, remember that. Exodus was a good thing. Yeah. We want to Exodus our problems. We yeah. want to Exodus in a positive way. Yeah. And it's all could have been a whole different story had these people did better choices, gave it to God, and this would be a whole different chapter of Exodus. Yeah. And so let's make this chapter awesome because this one's not written down yet anywhere. Right. We're building this one. We're creating this one. So let's make this one freaking beautiful. Let's make it so good that God is proud of us. He's like, they finally got it. I'm so happy I didn't murder them in the wilderness. <laughs> yeah, it's because, yeah, this is real chaos. And yeah, because... Yeah. He's got infinite patience yeah. and that, but these people, I'm sure drove Moses completely insane. I'm sure Moses was like this sometimes and yeah. wanted to scream and that I wouldn't have wanted to be Moses in the middle of all of that. He was a stronger man that just showed his character and he did believe in God and just trying to teach it to these people. But it also shows we shouldn't follow, we shouldn't give it to just one person. Yes. We should do it ourselves. These people yes. are all accountable yes. for their own actions, responsible yes. for their own energies, reaction. Your energy, I always tell the kids and I will tell you, your energy is your energy. Take care of your energy. Know where it's going. A bad word, a bad thought to somebody else. You actually are kind of setting that intention. So let's give beautiful thoughts, great things for other people. If somebody is driving erratically, we'll wish they'd stop. You know, we don't have to sit there and start, yeah, eh, you drive like, da, da, da. no. Wish them love. I I don't know what, and because they might be rushing to the hospital, maybe a loved one, you don't know what's going on. So don't be judging that's yeah. because that's in the energy and once it's in there yeah. it's there so let's not be like these people that were wondering in there. let's start a new exodus let's start an exodus from all of this and let's just start and if you're not going to do it for you do it for the children do it for our future let's do it for them 
the animals. Let's save our animals. Let's do it for them so they don't go extinct because they bring so much love and they deserve that as much as the children and you deserve all of this. Yeah. So that's what we try to teach in the videos. And we want you to just, and that's why I'm still here after all of this time because I do believe in the human race, having human in me. I have seen, I have had lives, but I've seen the beautiful in people. And I know we're getting closer. Well, I'm, we're getting yes. closer. I do see more beautiful, wonderful people. I have faith. They, and you have to have faith, mm -hmm. not really hope, because hope is iffy. Yeah. You have to have faith. Faith is knowing. Faith is hope knowing. Hope is hoping. questionable. Yeah. It's a questionable thing. So let's just have faith in things. Let's know that faith that God has is. Let's go up that mountain with Moses. Let's, let's not be afraid. Let's not be afraid and see what did he have yeah. to say that we were not wanting yeah. to listen. Not willing. What willing. Mm -hmm. And let's be a different group of people. Yeah. Let's, fo let's follow God. And when Moses can't figure that out, then we go to God, ourselves, are responsible for ourselves, and not dependent on one person. Let's just go here. Mm. So if you see a church leader, and he's doing all his best, but you're sitting through service like that, well, do your part. You know, he's doing his part. Here, she's doing her, you know, their part. Do your part. Listen, act. You know, let's not judge. Because if it's easy to just sit there and judge. Well, I didn't learn nothing. Well, then you go up there and you do something about that. So, and because they're trying to be... Moses and teach you about God, you know. So let's be considerate of other people. Let's not be judging others. Let's teach. Let's hold each other's hands. Hold each other's hands and love like that Pepsi. That's, that when everybody hold the hands, you know. I thought actually that was a joke until Michelle showed me that, and she said holding hands around America was yeah, a thing. Hands across America. And yep. yes, and there's nothing, and you will never see that. Not to be people would be sitting there. Well, I'm not. And too many reasons why you couldn't do it. I had to sleep. I have to go to the bathroom, I got it. There'd be so many excuses. But you don't have to. Let's just be better people. Yeah. Let's not always give it to Moses. Let's take accountability. Absolutely. Yes. So no, you are unconditionally loved. And this is Marcus. Oh, you are so loved. Just know how loved you are. We love you. We love you unconditionally. Yes. You are loved. You are loved unconditionally. Yes. I mean, and you are never alone. If you could see what we see, you would know you're never alone. You never walk this planet alone, yeah. ever. You never. We are proof that you do not walk alone. You are not. These girls know for a fact they are not alone. We came to know that that, and as well, everybody has this. Yes. Have, yeah. So yes, yeah. it is beautiful. Remember your love. You are loved. And everything is beautiful. It is most indeed. It is so beautiful. Go out, enjoy the yes. weather. Go out and enjoy whatever yes. it is your thing. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yes. Follow your light. Follow your light yeah. is so beautiful. Yeah. And if you're in your desert, you will be in the light. Yes. It is just a season. Yeah. And it will pass. Absolutely. Yes. This too shall pass for you, my friend. Yes. Know you are loved. We will see you in our next video.